This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read and recorded by Noam Yogev, Berlin. Fables for the Frivolous by Guy Wetmore Carroll. The Unusual Goose and the Imbecilic Woodcutter. The woodcutter bought him a gander. Or at least that was what he supposed. As a matter of fact, it was a slander, as a later occurrence disclosed. For they locked the bird up in a garret to fatten the while it grew old. And it laid there a twenty-two carat fine egg of the purest of gold. There was much unaffected rejoicing in the home of the woodcutter then, and his wife, her exuberance voicing, proclaimed him most lucky of men. "'Tis an omen of fortune, this gold egg," she said, and of practical use, for this foal doesn't lay any old egg, she's a highly superior goose. "'Twas this creature's habitual custom, this laying of superfine eggs, and they made it their practice to dust them, and pack them by dozens in kegs. But the woodcutter's mind, being vapid, and his foolishness more than profuse, in order to get them more rapid, he slaughtered the innocent goose. He made her a gruel of acid, which she very obligingly ate, and at once, with a touchingly placid demeanor, succumbed to her fate. With affection that passed the platonic, they buried her under the moss, and her epitaph wasn't ironic in stating, We mourn for our loss. And the moral? It isn't much use, as the woodcutter found to be true, to lay for an innocent goose just because she is laying for you. End of the unusual goose and the imbecilic woodcutter.